Do you want to learn how to pronounce properly the sounds of the letters of the Arabic alphabet? Then watch this lesson in which I'm going to teach you how to pronounce those letters, how to create their sounds, how to articulate them, and I'm also going to give you some exercises that will help you to master. Hi guys, marhaba. This is me Soraya and this is the fifth part of my series of lessons about the pronunciation of the letters of the Arabic alphabet. In case you didn't see the previous lessons, I would strongly recommend you do so before we continue. And I have put the links for those lessons down below in the description for you to check out. So far, we have learned how to pronounce the only three vowels of the Arabic alphabet and 18 out of 25 consonants. And we still have to go through seven more consonants. Now, I decided to leave the last seven till the end of the series because they are considered to be the challenging ones the difficult ones because they are the guttural sounds of the letters of the Arabic alphabet. Now let me give you a little bit of theory about how the sounds of the regular letters are created and compare it to the creation of the guttural sounds of the Arabic alphabet. Now the regular sounds are created by combination of movement of our tongue, our lips, vocal cords and exhale. In this way, we create all the sounds of our speech, like k, t, b, m, sh, etc. Now, the guttural sounds of the letters of the Arabic alphabet are created in a different way. Not only we are using the vocal cords, we are using the movement of our tongue, but we are also using the movement of the inner parts of our throat or the muscles of our throat in addition to exhaling and creating the sound. And that's why they are considered to be difficult sounds to create, especially for the beginners, but not only for them. Saying that, I don't want you to worry at all because by the end of these two last lessons of this series, you will have all the tools you need to master those sounds. I will give you some exercises, I will explain how you create the sounds and let me give you also a few tips that will help you to master them. First of all, repeat after me. Second, listen to the sounds as many times as needed. Three, do the exercises. Four, be patient. Today we are going to learn how to pronounce four guttural sounds of the Arabic alphabet. In order to make things even easier for you, I'm not going to only teach you how to pronounce those sounds like in the previous lessons, but I'm also going to give you example of words that contain these sounds. You don't have to memorize these words. I'm just giving you those words just for you to understand the sound of those letters in a better way and to hear how they sound when they are combined with other letters of the Arabic alphabet. The first sound or the first letter of today's lesson is the guttural sound of S. Please repeat after me. S. 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 It's not S. It's S. It's the guttural sound of the regular S but it's pronounced in a very tough and hard way, as you can hear, S. S. Now, how to create the sound of the guttural S? First of all, you don't move your lips. Second, you keep your tongue still, like frozen, but you move the tongue, but you don't really play with it, like you don't move it so much. And in the same time, you shrink the muscles of your throat, these muscles, and you try to pronounce or create the, the sound of the regular S. Let me come a little bit closer to the camera so you can see how my throat moves when I try to pronounce the sound S. Look, S. First of all, my lips are not moving. My tongue is still. It's like this. And I move those muscles s s s okay 
Now, let me give you some examples of words that contain the guttural sound of S. Saif. Repeat after me. Saif. Saif. Which means summer. Sura. 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 Which means image or picture. Sabura. 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 Which means blackboard. Asfar. 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 Which means yellow. Fursa. 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 Which means a chance. The next letter and the next sound is the guttural T. Repeat after me. T. 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 It's actually the guttural sound of the regular T. But it's pronounced in a hard way. Guttural way. Throaty way. T. T. Now how do you create the sound? Again, you will use a similar technique as in the previous letter, S. You don't move your lips. You keep your tongue still, but you move it up and down and you shrink the muscles of your throat while trying to create the sound of the regular T. So it would be something like this. T. 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 Look how my throat is moving. T. My lips are still. T. My tongue goes up and down. T. T. Okay? Now let me give you some words, examples for the sound of T. Tair. Tair. Tair, which means bird. Saitara, saitara, saitara. Control. Basit, basit, basit. Easy. The next sound is the guttural sound of q. Repeat after me. Q. Ah. It's the guttural sound of the regular letter K. Ah. Ah. And how you create the sound? Again, you don't move your lips. You keep your tongue actually still and you don't move it. It's down and you shrink your muscles here. And let me give you one exercise that will help you to learn how to create the sound. Press with your finger on your tongue like this and try to pronounce the sound of the regular K. It's not even possible to, to pronounce the regular K when you hold your tongue still down, okay? Now let me give you some examples. Kalem. Kalam, Kalam, Pen, Warak, 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 Paper, Kalak, 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 Anxiety. In this word, you have the guttural sound k two times in the beginning and the end of the word. Kalak. The last sound of today's lesson is going to be the sound of the guttural H. 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 It's not H. It's not H. It's H. 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 And it's the guttural sound of the regular sound of H. H. Now, actually, I have done one lesson before about the pronunciation of the letter H and somewhere here you can find the link to check this lesson. 
and again I'm going to repeat the technique how to create the sound of H and I will also give you an exercise that will help you to create the sound H. So, how do you create the sound of the guttural H? Now, you have actually two exercises that you can practice uh, to master the sound. The first one is that you will put your fingers under your chin and then you are going to press upwards and a little bit behind as well or you can do it this way as well and you will try to pronounce and or create the, uh, the sound of the regular uh, huh? so it will be like this <sighs> yeah you choke yourself <sighs> you can see that my lips are not moving and even my tongue is not moving it's still and it's down <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I know, it's funny, but it's a very good exercise how to learn to pronounce uh, the sound. The another thing you can do is, again, the similar uh, exercise that we did for the guttural sound of Q. You will press with your finger on your tongue and you will try to pronounce or create the sound of H. This way, when you press uh, with your finger on your uh, tongue, you will not let the tongue, the freedom to move, you know. So this is the second way how to really uh, help yourself to master the sound of H. And now let me give you some examples. So we have the word, and this word is very important. Hub. 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 Love. This word, I think, every one of us needs to know how to pronounce and tell in the Arabic language. Hop, harf, 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 letter, ruh, 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 soul, laham, laham, laham. Meat. So it's very important really to master those sounds, the guttural sounds of the Arabic alphabet, because most of the words of the Arabic language contain at least one of those guttural sounds or even more of them, a combination of them. And also why it's important, because sometimes if you change and you swap the guttural sound for its regular counterpart, you will change the meaning of the word as well. For example, in the word saif, saif, if you swap the guttural sa with the regular s and you say safe, you change the meaning of the word because safe with the regular s means sword, but saif with the sa means summer. So, let's do a recap. In today's lesson, we learned how to pronounce the guttural sound of the letter. Q, 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 like in Qalam. The guttural sound of S, 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 like in the word of Saif. The guttural sound of H, H. H, like in the word hub, 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 love, and the guttural sound of the letter t, 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 like in the word tair, tair, tair. So that's all for today. In the next lesson, I'm going to teach you. The last three guttural sounds of the Arabic alphabet, which are in the same time, the last three consonants and the last three letters of the Arabic okay. alphabet. Thank you so much. Shukran for watching this video. Don't forget to practice and hit the thumb up if you like this video. Sign up for more videos. Leave your comments down below. Check the links of the previous lessons, which are also in the description. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell. And I see you in the next lesson. Bye. Ma salama.